Alright, how's it going guys? So, now that we have the advanced hopper, or the advanced bumblery, we are going to set up a set of squeezers to squeeze our honeycomb. And we're going to set them up right here next to our bath for our uh, black ink. So we need, and we're going to do two of these. Uh, we're going to set them up a block like that. And then we'll put here in the middle is going to be our diesel engine. That's where our power is going to come from. And squeezers need power in from the top and they use KU so we're going to put that there and then up here on the top where's my scaffold there's my scaffold so we're going to need uh, actually we're going to need something else actually I just thought about that um so we're going to have this rotary engine right here. And the rotary engine puts out 16 KU. We're giving it 64 RU, so it about put out 32. So it's going to put out 16 on each stroke. Um, think of this like a piston that is going back and forth so it's going to get 16 that way then that way then that way so it's going to be 16 here and 16 there and because it's KU we have to use universal extenders so we'll be extending that input like that these don't matter so that should give us our power now the problem is with that that if we put on a automatic switch here and here that's going to extend back to here it is not going to get to the diesel engine. Uh, just to show, let's go ahead and cable this up real quick. Or pipe it up. Uh, we're going to go in through the back here. And our closest is either going to be there or over there so I think we're just gonna come down to and then go right across the building will probably be the closest and easiest because of that water line running through there I did make plenty of these for this actually made more than I needed amazingly and you'll see I've uh, dug this all back out here um, that corner is where there's water that's why it's so weird and I still got to finish getting the floor done I've been working on it but getting enough uh, concrete to do the floor is a bit of a pain in the butt at times all right, so now if we hook this up and we put a there and there and we do this. Now you'll see that is running, but those are not. Now if we turn, if we take these off, you'll see they are now running. So we have to get a way to turn that off. 
and I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. Our input, uh, we need to change this around actually. We need to turn, okay, so this is going to be our input side. So we're going to do this for right now, just so it's actually working. We have something else we're going to be doing in a moment, but this will at least let it start working while it uses up that stuff that's in there. There we go. Now that'll input it. And then the only issue is it's going to want to output the beeswax. So we'll just give it a pipe there. All right. So what we're going to have to do is the same thing we did with the electric uh, when we first did this, which is we're going to have to use redstone machine switches like those right there and the covers that make it send redstone through so we have redstone control cover except one emit that's a controller all right so i need to get we'll just grab a few blanks i have red alloy wire so that part's fine. Then the redstone cover is going to be this, this, that. And I've seen two redstone torches in here. There we go. That's the two. Um, actually, I only need one of those. We'll put the other one in the box. I'll just throw this in here because I don't need two of those. I just completely threw the wrong thing in there. Give me that. All right. And then we need two possible covers. So that should be like this. Uh, is it this way? Yeah. That's the possible. Hey, my bees are are done. Yep, we're on to a new breeding cycle. And we have a lot of them in there. I probably should scan them, but we'll scan them later. All right, so now what we're going to do is this thing is, uh, yeah, full of that. We're going to take that out, begin with the lack of scaffold. We're going to put our possible sensor there. We're going to take our universal, and we're going to put an accept on the bottom we're going to put a emit on the side and then we're going to put an except here so now when we put this back in here like that that will send redstone up if it's not possible to run and into that side there. So now this one, we need to put a emit on the bottom. Which I just made an accept. Good thing I can switch it over. So emit on the bottom. 
and then we need to put the uh, redstone machine switch on there and we can put a emit uh, that is oh those are control covers so that's an accept that is emit so we need the emit to go there and then we need the except to go there and we can put that back in place here which needs to go um yeah you're arguing with me aren't you should be like that i do believe yep there we go and then this one is going to need uh, let's go ahead and get the possible here. And then we need an accept on this one. Okay. So that should be everything. So that goes. Oh, that's on Monkey Wrench. Uh, we need. Make sure both of these inputs are facing down. Okay. So now, if it's possible, it will run. So if we get rid of this and we do that, this is not possible to run because it's full. And we will get rid of this one for a moment. And you'll see that that one it's not possible to run because it is full. Now if I take this out, it's possible to run, so it is running. And because it was possible to run, it forced out the other one. And now it is running. Now the other thing we want to do, first off put these back in here. And I'll have to get me a... Uh, barrel to put them in but the other thing that we want to do is we want to take out these and we want to put in extenders so we want to extend this facing which is what it's doing so it'll still be able to input and then we are going to put itemometers here and here and you'll see they're telling us 64 which is what's in the input and that's what we want it to do and then we need to set that to um, I think we want this on equal zero. So then it'll put out a redstone signal whenever it equals zero. And then we want to put a shutter cover right there and a shutter cover right there. And then we just need to connect this to that cover. And just thinking about how I want to do this part. Um, it's a little bit easier if this is on. Can I even do that? I don't know if I can do that, but let's see if I can do that. If I take that off there, if I take that off, it's going to make a mess. Um, do that. Now, give me that. Can I put the shutter there? Yes, I can. And then I need this one. 
by the way, if you want to see a much better explanation of what I'm doing, I'll put a video up in the corner. Um, it's my even distribution system is what I'm setting up. But I haven't done this in a long time. So I'm not 100% sure I'm doing it 100% right, but we're trying. All right. Now that should activate that. And then we can do the same thing here. That into there, that into there, that off of there, up there, off of there. We don't need any rampant things. And it turns it off. Everything is good there. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. And get that out of there. So that is doing what it's supposed to do. Now we're going to put in... Uh, we need to move that up. Do I have... No, I don't have tape on me. Alright, hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Alright, now. Tape that up. Take it out. We're going to put our pipe back in here. And now I need to see... Okay, that will not let me open it that way. That will not let me close it that way. Oh, that was on wrench. Or monkey wrench. Damn it. Get that pipe out of there. Now, I need to see if this is going to work. So, it should close that if there's something in there. So, if I put that in there... Yeah, apparently that does not work on the uh, things like that. Okay, so we're going to need to do... Take those out of there. And... Could move this up, actually. Let's try that. So if I do this here, here, and here, that'll give me what I want. Because then I can connect there and there. Okay, that should work. And then we just need to get... Hopper up on the top, and then we put our mass storage on top of that. And then, uh, hold on, let me fill this back in so I'm not losing anything down there. Now we need to take these back out. And we need to connect these here. And I put those on the wrong side of the pipe. I need those on the other side of the pipe. Because if they're on the inside pipe, then the redstone would be combined. And I don't want it combined. I want it like that. just like that. So now, if we take this out, it's, uh, why are you equals zero? If I put that in, yeah, that's not giving me a redstone signal. Why is that not 
giving me a redstone signal. That definitely should be okay. <clears throat> Good giving. First off, damn controllers on there, so it has somewhere to redstone. But why am I not getting a redstone signal now when that is the way? Um, hmm. Well, make sure. Okay, that looks absolutely horrible. Yeah, that's connecting all the way out there. Um, but that should be connecting to the top of this. Let's reset it a second. Okay, item equals zero. That should... No, wait a minute. Uh, give me that redstone off the side here. Yeah, that's still not... I'm confused. Now, I definitely shouldn't do it if I do that. Let's try it. Yeah. It's not doing it that way either. Because that should be doing the input. Unless, wait a minute, make sure that's turned off of there. Don't want that doing anything weird. Okay, so we put one in. Hmm. All right, give me a minute. Let me figure out what it's doing, because it was just working a second ago. Okay. So it is working. It's just not controlling the... Because I put the redstone there. Uh, let's take that off a second. And then open up... Why is that on chisel? Okay. So we're going to open this up. We're going to put the redstone lamp there. So it is getting a redstone signal. All right. So now why is it not opening and closing that pipe? Or, oh, it is. It's because I have it on that one. I can't see that it's doing it. Okay. I just couldn't see because it's daylight couldn't see that that had lit up all right so now what we want to do is we're going to set this to admit one stack size and we're going to set this to stack size of one we have this one empty um i got a mass storage so let's get this put in, and I guess we'll put it here. No, we can't put it there because of the CO2. We'll put it there, because I have no idea what we're going to do with this beeswax. Um, uh, I hate that. Absolutely hate that. so now if we cut this off let's get that out of my inventory and we cut this off that will input into there it will input into here and you'll see that it's getting not sure why it's getting two, but it is doing what it's supposed to be, sort of. It is keeping one in its inventory. So it is working. 
I'm just not sure why it's getting to. But it's doing what it's supposed to do. Because as soon as it hits zero, then it dumps the other one. And these pipes are going to have to move. I'll take them out one. Uh, because we're going to have uh, fluid coming through there. Which we may actually be able to use a bridge there. But that is our setup. And that will keep it to where both of these can run evenly. Because it will try to keep one in, every, in each machine. That way we don't have to worry about this one filling up first. And this one sitting here running and doing nothing. It'll always make sure that each machine has stuff to work. That's why we set all this up. Because otherwise, the pipe is going to output if, if we didn't have a full mass storage up there to run it. If we had them come trickling in a little at a time, one side would run, the other side would have nothing to do. So we do this to try to even it out. Now, with the fact that it's getting two is kind of weird because it's only supposed to be doing one because this is set on even distribution of, or to emit exact stack size of one. So it should be doing one at a time into this pipe. But somehow it's doing two, but we're fine with that. So, when it gets a bunch in, then it will not, um, or when we get down to low mounts, we should be able to somewhat keep these running simultaneously. I may have to work on it a little bit, and I will probably make it to where, when they're coming in from the hives, that it will not put into here unless there's like half a stack, full stack, something like that. That way we know that it's not going to be trickling in one at a time because one at a time would break the system because one would get it and the other one wouldn't and it would still run. So we'll make sure that this uh, can't get any, any uh, honeycombs unless it's an exact stack at a time. So that's what we'll do for that. But that's one step closer to getting our bio setup set up. So the next thing we need to do is get our fermenter that is over here. We're going to take this out and we're going to put it over there and then we're going to run it off of honey instead of water. <laughs> and I need to make a new distillation tower because instead of distilling it to ethanol, we're going to be putting it in the distillation tower and distilling it. And the reason why we're doing this is because we need glycerol. So we need to build another distillation tower. It's going to take our biomass. It's going to give us 20 ethanol, which we'll have to put another tank out here for that part. It's going to give us methane, which we will just burn off. Um... And then it'll give us distilled water, which we're seriously going to have to think about um, voiding soon. Or, you know, technic I technically we're going to say we're putting it back in the river. Yeah. I actually did that a long time ago. For anybody who's been around that long, I actually ran a um, buildcraft pipe one of the obsidian pipes, I ran it next to the river 
and that was how I voided my distilled water and said that it was pumping back out into my river. But we are going to have to start thinking about voiding off some distilled water soon because we are getting extremely full. This is completely full of distilled water. We can't run any more of our aluminum hydroxide anymore. Um, this tank out here is completely full. That's why that can't run. Um, and we already have a tank back there for water for running to other things. So we can't really use it for that because we can't turn distilled water back into regular water. And we're already voiding off water here um, if and when this ever gets full, which it barely ever does. Um, because we can't input water into this tank from outside, we can only input it into this pipe to keep things full. This is our reclamation from all of our processes over here. Um, and there's not a whole lot we're going to need distilled water for much until we get to nuclear, and I'm probably going to be using IC2 coolant for that, not distilled water. Uh, we will need it for the boilers, but I think we have enough ways of making distilled water. We can void some of that out. So, I'm going to get a distillation tower put together, probably make a second fermenter. Um, I also need to look at getting a pumpkin field because we do have our uh, sugar cane back here that got nice and upgraded. And it's harvesting along and... We're up to 17,000 sugarcane, but this is primarily for paper. Um, we can use it in there, and we have, you know, lots of other random stuff that we end up throwing in there, like all our minced meat from uh, all the rotten flesh we end up getting. But uh, I think I'm going to use pumpkins, make a pumpkin pumpkin patch out there somewhere and we're going to use that for our primary fermenting and then we'll send over any excess uh, we need to get that uh, sugar cane into here for making paper and then we need to get a math a shredder to shred the paper eventually so we've got a lot of work that needs to get done and I will be back with you guys with it. Have a good one. And don't forget, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a message. I'll try to explain, and I'll put a um, link to that even distribution video up in the corner right here. So check that out if you need a little bit better explanation. Later.